Hi there and welcome to a new episode on modeling V12 engine theory in Inventor. That's the part I will model in this episode. If you are new in the channel, please subscribe and here we go. I will create a new part choosing standard like a template and click create button. I will choose the XY plan and sketch two circles. Once you finish your sketch, click on the extrude feature and add this parameter. To hold the XY plan like a mid plan in the part, I will edit the extrude feature and I will add in the behavior option. I will add a symmetric. Now I will start a new sketch on the XY plan again and draw these sketches. As you can see, you can't see your sketch because it's on the middle of the part. To resolve that, you have just to click on the slice button on the bottom bar. Once you finish your sketch, click on the extrude feature and add this parameter. Here I will add 3 mm. And I want to deselect the anterior circle to make a hole in the center of the part. To do that, you have to press Ctrl or Shift in your keyboard and click on the anterior zone of the part, as you can see. Now I will add a hole on the part. I will start a hole feature and I will edit the position of the sketch after. Just make uh, the same uh, parameter as me to make the same hole. And when you finish, I will edit the sketch.
right click here and edit your sketch as you can see here I can't see the center of the arc the method here is to project the arc with the project uh, feature you can use this one as you can see you can just move this point to the center finish your sketch and now what you can do is just to select the feature and make a circular pattern just turn your model like that and select the circular surface and you have your pattern now let's make a sketch to make the the tooth of uh, this um, pinion i will start with the middle plan as you can see here and draw with me the sketches Here we finished the sketches, as you can see. Uh, let's go ahead and make here a next shirt, but in the boolean on the output, you have just to make cut material. As you can see, I will use control when you see the plus, and here you can choose cut material symmetric here. As you can see, it's okay like that. Just choose the um, the middle of the circles, as you can see. Once you finish, select extrude the last feature, okay, and click pattern, circular pattern, as you can see. And I will put 20 here, OK, and you have the part. Nice work. Let's, uh, let's make an assembly with the V12 engine. But before that, I, I will save the part. As you can see, just you can use Ctrl S or you can go to file, save, go to your um, folder and put pinion, I think uh, the name is pinion dp38, save it. Okay. 
Now let's go ahead and open your assembly. And I will use place. In the last episode, I forgot to assembly, make an assembly with the crankshaft wheel. I will do it right now. I will add it to the assembly. As you can see here, just make uh, one example. As you can see here, now we use constraint between these two axes. It's okay like that. Apply and I will choose a surface between the two surfaces. Just wait a sec. Let's verify if all thing is all right. Tap OK. OK, OK. Now I will insert another a part. Already the, the pinion DP38. Let's tap here or I will find it here. Open it. I will use two of them. Here you have the possibility to make the assembly between these using the same uh, feature constraint or you can make it as you can see uh, add the assembly before with the crankshaft wheel and make the the other part the dp38 pinion with this one apply this now the second one the same step Now we arrived on the end of the video. You have just here to add the last constraint between these two surfaces. Click OK. Now I will tell you, see you in the next episode. Thanks.